chosen to stay home today, given what's been happening. So I recently watched Grim Cuddy. It's a horror movie with a terrible name. Grim Cuddy. Really? Out of all the names they chose, I get that he like, cuts people and stuff, but that just makes it sound more stupid. Anyway, Grim Cuddy is a horror movie about memes. Not off to the best start, but okay. While we're talking about horror, if you're a sub of me you might be wondering why I'm making this video. I'm not a horror channel. I've only watched a few horror movies like Alien, if you can call it one, Sixth Sense, so on and so forth. But I watched this recently and I just have to make a video on it. Grim Cuddy is about Asha, an SM or YouTuber. She started hearing about a meme that makes you do evil things like stabbing your parents. This is obviously based on Mo Mo from a few years back. Main problem with this movie is how boring it is. Not a single person in this movie dies. That's not exactly a flaw, but so many times a character is near death, don't die and don't contribute to the plot after. I feel like either Asha's brother or father should have died. I think the father would have had quite a sacrifice moment at the end. They could have killed him off. Were they planning a sequel with him? Forget about it. I also want to mention that we know nothing about Grim Cuddy. He's just some picture who sort of comes to life. How? Dunno. How did he begin? Dunno. He doesn't have an origin or anything. Again, not a flaw but it might have made it more interesting if we ended up finding out. Maybe they were going to have a prequel, forget about it. Perhaps they were trying to be mysterious. But that doesn't work when you show your monster in the trailer, the posters and throughout the movies so much times. Grim Cuddy is everywhere so he doesn't look all too scary when we see how he looks, and it's not like his design is anything special, it's basically Gru mixed with a close-up of an ant or something. I do like how it's a puppet instead of CGI, it really improves the scenes. But the main character, Asha is so annoying and unlikable, she can't go a day without checking her phone despite the phone possibly being dangerous. Overall it's an alright movie, it's not exactly scary, but if you're looking for something to laugh at, it's good.